see this is Turkish tea. I just prepared it the way Turkish people normally do. So inside here we have hot water that is boiled and put to boil and fresh water actually and here it is where we have our fresh water with Turkish tea. This one was the one my mother-in-law bought for me and I normally use it. I love it Turkish tea and this brings us to today's topic why Turkish people love tea so you can see when the water is boiling here this fresh water is used actually to whenever you make a strong tea you can dilute it using this tea this water so for me I love it the way it is because it is not too much uh, tea or dark or black and uh, and mostly Turkish people use some seed, this sunflower seed that we normally use. So today's video we are going to discuss as we talk about Turkish tea, reasons why Turkish tea they love it and why they consume it like all the time. Turkish I have my Turkish tea here, I have my sunflower seeds here and I have some little bit of lemons. I love to add this lemon juice on my Turkish tea because I think it makes it so so delicious and so I don't know I just love it I just love to add some little bit of lemon juice inside it makes it so tasty so I normally do this while working on my projects here I'm working from home and I want to edit some videos for a client here and yeah and I have my water there I told you what is very important so in Kenya we normally have black tea but not most most people will consume it like from morning to evening in fact most people prefer milk tea than this black tea uh, and uh, I don't know what um, I don't know why but uh, in Kenya we consume a lot of tea with milk rather than this black tea in fact if you give someone maybe someone a visitor comes in your home and then you serve the person this black tea maybe that person will look at you and think that maybe you don't you didn't appreciate him or her coming by giving her this black tea and they will look at you and say why they like a little pikia chaya strongi strongi chaya strongi like uh mana little pikia chaya strongi it is like saying why did she made uh for us this black tea we don't like black tea so that is just my observation or my thinking or my knowledge about black tea in kenya so most kenyans don't consume black tea just a few of them i'm very sure not most of them they like in fact most of them like tea with milk so in turkish comparing to turkish culture or turkish people you'll find that this is their main uh something that they give to a guest in association with appreciation or welcoming that person in fact most when most homes in turkey when you go there the first thing they will give you they will offer you some tea or some coffee turkish coffee and you'll find that turkish coffee is consumed but not as much as tea so whenever you visit turkey next time you come to turkey or you are visiting turkish home and you'll find that they have served you this type of tea don't think that they don't like you or they, they don't don't get surprised it is their way of welcoming people in their homes and in kenya we normally drink it maybe once in a day but in turkey you'll find that people drink this black tea anytime anywhere in fact they drink it like the whole day they can drink in the morning they can drink during lunchtime they can drink during dinner they can drink whenever they visit a home and they just want to chill and talk. You'll find that they're drinking tea, if not coffee. But as I said, coffee is not consumed like the way they consume tea. So in Turkey, tea is a way of appreciating someone. It is also a way of 
welcoming someone in their home it is a way or a symbol of friendship and when they come together as a family you'll find that they are served tea in most cases like right now when i go downstairs to my mother-in-law she might serve me coffee or she might serve me tea as a way of welcoming me at home or just to chill and talk so in turkey they do is as a, a a way of appreciating and bringing people together and then scientifically it has been proven that turkish tea can reduce weight and um, i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not on a balance on a diet balance like stuff uh, those stuff but i think it has some value or they make some sense so you found that turkish women love tea and like i say they love also gossiping or talking <laughs> i hope someone is not listening to me they love gossiping and just sitting down chill chatting eating those black seeds and drinking some tea if not coffee Actually, they are both sweet. Like Kenyan tea is the best. We have farmers from Kericho who are doing amazing work from Kiambu, from all over in the western parts of Kenya. Um, it's is it Western or Central? Um, there are so many uh, farmers who plant tea, and it is just amazing. And then something funny or something that I came to realize that shocked me, it is that the sugar that is being used here in Turkey, they are not made in sugar canes like the way we normally make in Kenya. In Kenya, I I'm used to seeing these trucks carrying sugar canes to go to um, factories uh, to produce sugar. But in Turkey, we have this plant I'll be linking the plant here that is used actually to make sugar. The first time when I came and I saw it, I was like, what? I was shocked. It was a shock. It was a shock to me because I thought I, in my life, really, like this is not a joke. In my life, in all of my life, I knew only sugar can be um, obtained from the sugar cans. But that's not the truth. <laughs> I came to realize that sugar is obtained or is manufactured or produced from those plants in Turkey and then I was like what? And it is sweet and it is just amazing. So I think you have heard from me about Turkish tea and why they like tea and our Kenyan tea. Of course when you come to Kenya, uh, don't be surprised to be given tea with milk because it is their way of associating with people or the way of drinking tea but when you come to Turkey and then you are served this a lot of time don't be surprised don't get angry just know they love you and they appreciate you even on the streets you'll find that so many people whatever we have a function or whatever you are passing by or in hotels they will give you free tea and in restaurant actually they serve free tea without even charging you or without after eating your meal they will ask you do you want some tea and you will say of course yes and they will serve you tea and it is just delicious it is a gesture of hospitality so it is amazing so next time when you come to Turkey tell them to serve you some tea or call for some chai and they will bring you this so as you can see this the Turkish uh, tea leaves that i was telling you about the chai about how they normally make the tea and it is actually so nice when you are when you want to try when you are trying on your tea it is very nice and very tasty same like kenyan tea but it has a different taste and also you find that uh, maybe due to on winter time turkish people normally use this one they normally this, these are just herbs eh? and the flowers and all those stuff good stuff they are used on winter and this sugar sugar stones they actually has a very nice scent a very sweet scent and it has a very nice scent 
and uh, it's used in Turkish uh, to, together with Turkish tea maybe during winter or those times you can see it it has black cumin mixed herbal tea Remember to check the link of my other channel of Tuck Foodies and you'll find all these ingredients or you'll find these amazing, amazing um, tea leaves and tea herbs that you can try and they are so nice. They have many nutrients and many benefits to your body and you can try it at your local uh, place and I'm sure if you are Turkey, you understand that how important the Turkish tea is. For us Kenyans, we love tea with, um, we love milk, a tea with milk. And uh, it's just something that we are you knowing that um, about a lot, uh, not about uh, the black tea, but we love both of them. Even though most Kenyans don't consume the black tea the way Turkish people do. So, I'm going to enjoy my actually this milk together mixed with the uh, nescafe nescafe what is nescafe <laughs> it is not turkish coffee uh turkish coffee uh coffee or coffee it is not turkish coffee but i'll be linking or i'll be linking my other channel that food is so that you can check what i normally post there and you can learn my son is crying i have to take <laughs>